Hey everybody, it's Mindy and you see yarn, you see a crochet hook because I'm going to do a simple crochet tutorial here today. I've had some people ask, people are out there saying, I don't know how to crochet. I wish somebody would do a tutorial and show us how to do it. So I'm going to attempt to show you right now how to crochet something very simple, just a basic stitch to get you started. All right, I just grabbed the hook I'm using for my temperature blanket and it's, I mean, you can grab any hook as long as it's a decent size. Don't get something small. Um, I just have a five millimeter, it's an H hook, okay? And I grabbed my yarn, like I said, that I was doing my temperature blanket with. So I'm gonna find my end, okay? So with any crochet project, how do you start? You start with a slip stitch. So take your yarn and just make a loop like this, okay? And pull this across. So you do that. I'm gonna stick my hook right in here and I'm gonna just pull this up and it makes a slip stitch. That's what we call a slip stitch. That's how I start every crochet project I think I've ever done. There's a different way to do it. It's kind of, I don't know, newfangled. I'm, I'm old school. This is how I do it, okay? So here's the tail. We're not gonna worry about that. Um, first of all, holding a hook. I hold it like this. I put my two fingers like that. I kind of grab a hold of my work, whatever I'm working on, and I put my third finger like this. So that's how I will hold my hook, okay, is like this. Here's my yarn I'm working with, and I do this loop thing with my pinky. I go like that. I loop it around my pinky, flip it over, and hold my yarn like this, okay? It just kind of helps me steady things. See, it's wrapped around my pinky, and it keeps it in place a little tighter. I'm a pretty snug crocheter, probably because of the way I hold my yarn. Okay, so let me show that again. Grab my hook like this. Okay, and I'm gonna, you know, hold it pretty firm. Wrap this around my pinky, twist my hand around, and there's my yarn, okay? So I hold my work with these two fingers. Right now my work is just my slip stitch. So this is what I hold as I'm working, all right? so. To make a chain, we've got to start with a chain. You wrap this yarn around the hook like such, and you pull it through, just like that, okay? We're gonna chain 22. So wrap it around, see how we've got it wrapped around, and we pull it through, and then pull up the loop, okay? Wrap it around, pull it through, Pull up your little loop. Don't pull it up a long ways. You don't want to have a big, sorry, come on. Don't look at the yarn on the table. Let me move the yarn. Don't focus on that. Okay, so that is one, two, three. We're gonna do that 22 times. Four, wrap, five, six, seven, eight, nine, whoops, I missed it, 10, 11, 12, yeah, let's go to 22, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. And I'll show you again on the last one. Here's my, here's my loop on my hook. Just wrap it around. Just kind of twist your hook, wrap it around and pull it through. Okay. I'm trying to show you from a different angle. Pull it through. Sometimes you'll hook some threads that you don't really want. Just pull through the extra threads and you'll be fine. So this is what your chain looks like, okay? So this is technically our first stitch right here, but we're going to do single crochets. So I'm going to skip this because this is really kind of hooked into that, see? I'm gonna skip that one, I'm gonna skip this one, and I'm gonna go into this one. You see how there's like a little hole up here at the top? And put your hook in that hole, wrap around and pull it through. 
now you'll see you'll have two stitches on your hook. Pull, wrap around, and pull through both stitches. That is what we call a single crochet. Now you see how it's in this little hole right there? My thread is right through that hole, okay? We're gonna do that all the way down. So here's my hole again, right here. Put my hook right in that hole, wrap around. Oops, I missed it, sorry, let me, let me start over. Put my needle through the hole, wrap around, grab that yarn and pull it up. So now I have two stitches. Wrap around again and pull through both stitches. That's how you make a single crochet. Put it right through that hole Go back, grab it, loop it around, pull it up, two stitches, and then pull through both. Okay, trying to go really slow, right through the hole. Grab your yarn back there, pull it up, got two stitches, wrap around again, and pull it through both stitches. Okay, I'm gonna continue. I'm not gonna talk anymore, but I'll just let you watch, okay? You notice how it looks like there's just a little little hole there. Put it right in that little hole. Put it right there. Wrap around, pull it up, and go through both stitches. Okay. I chose 22 so that we would have a nice little swatch here. Look, he wants to stick up there in the way. <laughs> We'd have a nice little swatch so you could actually see some progress. Wrap it around, pull through both stitches, okay? I think the trickiest part about learning how to crochet is really how to hold everything, you know? Um, you see that I'm holding the chain over here with these two fingers and this finger up here, my index finger kind of sticks out because it's holding that yarn out so that I can grab it when I go to loop around it. Okay. So I think once you learn how to hold your project you're working on and hold, I got, look, I got one little thread here. There it goes. Um, it makes it much easier. You just have to learn your own way to grip things and not everybody does it exactly the same, but there you go. So this is a single crochet, right? And I've got a couple more to do, one there, and then we should be back. See, okay, here's what I'm talking about. See what happened right there? Because of the way the yarn is twisted and such, sometimes you'll not get all the way through. So just go right through that last little thread. Okay, see how I had to do that? Oops, I got two more stitches. One here. And then the last one. No, nope, that was the last one. That's the knot. Okay, that was the last one. So here's what we have. A row of single crochets. Focus. Come on. What are you trying to focus on? Let's go focus on the yarn. Hello. Sorry. Yarn. Yarn. Nope. Okay. Come on. There it goes. All right. And that's what it looks like. All right. I hope that was helpful. Um, we're going to move on. Since I have one row of single crochet, we're gonna move on. I'm going to do one chain here. Actually, I'm gonna do two chains. Let's do two chains, do two chains. And then you'll see how you can see one chain, two chains, and here's the stitch that was at the end. So we basically, by doing two chains, we made a single crochet. So we're gonna skip this one. We're gonna turn our work over this way and we're gonna work backwards. 
but we're going to skip that stitch right there because we did those two chains. So we're going to go into the next one. Now when you go this time, you'll realize there are two loops. Okay, this gets a little trickier. There are two loops. Okay, see how there's two loops here? There's a front loop and a back loop. And you can see them very clearly on this chain here. Front loop, back loop, front loop, back loop. Okay, you're going through both loops. Go right through both loops. Last time when we did our chain, you just went through one little hole. Now we're going through both of those loops. You grab that yarn, you know, yarn over, we call it yarn over, grab the yarn and pull it through and pull it up. And then you wrap it around again and pull it through both stitches. There's your first single crochet. Now we go to the next one. Go all the way through the hole this time and you'll go through both stitches. See how we went through both stitches? Yeah, go through both stitches, hook your yarn, bring it through. Now we got the two stitches on our hook, wrap it around, pull it through. It gets much easier. You just have to practice, okay? Just, it takes practice. It's just like any new skill, playing the piano, coloring, anything. Go through both loops, come on. Both loops, and you'll see, there they are. There's the two loops. I can separate them even, not with my finger in the way, but I could separate them so you can see there's two. All right, it's like the front loop and the back loop. Come through, wrap it around again, both stitches. See what we're getting? Look at that, right? Okay, I'll show you one more time and then I'm gonna finish. Go through both of the loops, go right through, all the way through, grab your yarn, pull it through, wrap it around again, come through both stitches. All right, I'm gonna keep going. Then go slow, so you can watch again. Go right through there, hook your yarn, come through, right through. Once you start looking, you can see that hole. You can really see the hole that you're wanting to, like if I pull it a little, see the hole right there? You see that hole, right? You're going right through that hole. And that'll grab both of your front loop and your back loop of your first single crochet in the row below. See my hole right there? Not down there right up here <laughs> okay all right I'm gonna finish this up I got a couple stitches and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stop here and this is gonna be the end of the video my yarns all caught here down here Do you see that it's all tangled up okay but I'm gonna stop right here and I'm gonna ask you to come back with any questions or comments and I gotta do one more right here in the end, okay? One more here right at the end to finish up my row. And I'm gonna just stop right there. Pull up my loop so I don't lose it. And that's what we've made. Two rows of single crochet, okay? Two rows, and they'll look different. They look different from each side. Like the row below looks different from this one because each direction looks a little different. So comment below if it was helpful. If you have questions, if you need me to go over something again, let me know. And I'll go on with another tutorial next time and I'll teach you a double crochet, but we'll address any questions you have based on the single crochet first. So if you have questions, comment, I'll answer them and we'll move on and we'll attempt the double crochet. All right? All right, I hope this was helpful. Let me know so I can help you if there's anything you need to know. All right, talk to you later.